What's up, Solo Sportsters? We're here today to tell you about the latest Steam Smart. This Iterian is called the Groove. We're gonna tell you what the technology is, how it plays, so stay tuned. The Wilson Steam Smart Groove version 2 is an oversized paddle with an 86 square inch head. The weight is 370 grams which equals 13 ounces. It has a middle smart core density, a length of 18 inches with a standard handle. The beam is a bit thicker at 19 millimeters, comes in a 4 and 1 quarter grip size only with the bottle opener on the bottom and comes in a gray and black cosmetic. The Steam Smart is not designed as a driving paddle, but I felt it held its own off the deck. The generous head size and sweet spot made every ball feel like I had quality contact. The extra diameter from three o'clock to nine o'clock on the head makes generating spin and slashes trouble-free without the fear of off-center hits. I felt like my shots had power under control. The middle core density has enough resilience to transfer pop and power to the ball and is just enough dwell to slow it down at times or generate spin. I like this paddle a bunch off the wires. Tricky screens, nicks, and waterfalls were as straightforward to defend with its massive sweet spot. It was easy to adjust on any corner shot that I didn't expect and could keep the ball in play. It's incredibly effortless to lob with this paddle as well. The paddle is not very maneuverable, but I found it slowed down my swings for added control. Digging out of the corner, hitting all varieties of lobs, and even holding my shot selection until the last second to lob or drive off the wires was uncomplicated. Overheads, slashes, volleys, and push volleys were a breeze with this paddle. I could shield and block off so much more of the net. Heavy drives from my opponent were absorbed nicely, and when I got softer shots, I could really carve the ball and pin my opponent low in the corners. Miss hits were minimal, even with tough volleys at my hip, high at my shoulders, or the all too often chicken wing volley. I could generate tremendous spin on my overheads and slashes, making screen reads difficult for my opponents as well. This paddle is the middleweight offering from the Steam Silo, which is the oversized head family from Wilson. The core is smart density foam, which is a term Wilson uses as the foam condenses on high impact, making it more powerful for heavy shots, yet remains looser and softer on slow shots for control and feel. In essence, Wilson claims this technology is smart to recognize the swing speed and impact to adjust to your shots. I found that this technology did work, however it was not a sizable difference, but cushioning volleys or crushing drives did respond differently on this core.
return of serve is clunky on this paddle and hard to drive. I chose to chip more often than swing on the return. Platform is certainly a game of control and consistency, but many would argue that the return is a golden opportunity to take control and be aggressive as it's a guaranteed shot from your opponent landing short in the court in the service box. If you play patiently and don't mind using defense to your advantage, then this paddle is a better fit. Overall, this paddle scored highly in our solo sports review. It has a terrific blend of power and control in a middleweight offering, making it pertain to so many players. The ideal player is someone who prefers the net to baseline, control to power, defense to offense, and has good shot selection and variety. Similar paddles are the Viking Reignite Light or Master Athletics M1 paddles. If your current paddle already has a couple seasons of wins under its belt and you're looking for a new all-around paddle to dominate the net and frustrate your opponents with never-ending rallies, then this could be your next weapon of choice. We hope you guys like this solo sports review. We're going to be recommending some other videos for you shortly. And also, if you have any platform questions, pickleball questions, tennis, etc., our crew of expert technicians and players are happy to give you the guidance so that you're picking the right equipment for you. So feel free to comment below, and we'll see you in the next video.